Here it is, the first look at Total War Warhammer 3 gameplay. Today we'll be testing our metal in an epic new game mode, Survival Battle. Survival battles drop us into the heart of enemy territory. To prevail, we'll need to deploy our defenses by spending supplies on a variety of barricades, projectile towers, traps, reinforcements and buffs. In this particular survival battle, we're taking the fight to Korn, seizing three victory points as we progress through the ruined fort with the Brass Citadel and its gatekeeper as our goal. But our invasion into Korn's domain will be hard fought. We'll be repelling three waves of lesser demons before going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an exalted bloodthirster. As the battle begins, we find ourselves immediately set upon. Some quick flanking and a blast of Katarin's ice magic sets us up for a swift initial win. Now that the way ahead is clear, we can progress to capture the first victory point and start our defensive preparations. We'll use our structures, which have been built from salvage found in Korn's realm, to our tactical advantage. They'll help us herd our foes into kill zones so we can take control of and maintain the battle's flow. We'll place barricades on either side of the victory point and block off all easy routes up the main ramps. This will funnel the bulk of the demons towards the side ramps, where our bizarre guard will hold the line. Meanwhile, our towers, Kossars and Katarin will tear them apart. Here they come. Katarin uses her Lore of Ice to quickly slide between engagements. To help ease the load on our Tsar Guard, we'll use her devastating Frost Fang ability and Heart of Winter spell. Against such insurmountable odds, our warriors are sure to tire and take losses. Thankfully, we can keep our army fighting fit with the Replenishments menu. Likewise, we can dramatically improve a unit's performance with the Upgrades menu, where we'll buff weapons, armor, and other essential items. But that won't be enough to take us to the Brass Citadel. We'll need to call fresh troops into the slaughter with the Recruitment menu. Our defense is holding thanks to our Streltsy reinforcements, but the demons keep coming. Our goal lies beyond the first victory point and we need to press onwards. With the bulk of the enemy in one convenient narrow corridor, a decisive charge from our winged lancers should put a swift end to their assault. We've survived the first wave and can press our invasion deeper into enemy territory. The defense of the second point begins shortly. We've only a brief respite before the demonic hordes come anew and haven't much time to arrange our units and structures. As we progress, we'll expand our pool of available troops, summoning higher tier units to meet the challenge of an ever-growing threat. With healing and buffing abilities, and a bare mount to briskly carry him between units in need, the Patriarch is a strong addition to our forces. Many a Chaos Slave has fallen to Little Grom's ancient and roaring fusillades. Fighting alongside it stokes pride into the hearts of all Kislevites. And rightfully so. Right now, Little Grom, with help from the Ice Guard and other units, is making steady work of the demons assaulting our Western Wall. But where our western defense is prevailing, our eastern flanks are in danger of being overrun. A second artillery unit should help even the odds.
Although advancing is our primary focus, we'll leave a rearguard to protect the bulk of our army. Losing a victory point and getting flanked now could spell disaster. One final push to the boiling moat! We must seize the icon of torment and tempt Karn's gatekeeper from his lair! Here we make our final push. Tired and bloodied from our march into chaos, we face two waves of demons, bolstered with heroes, cavalry, artillery, and the Gatekeeper himself. Now is the time to rain the full force of Ursun's wrath down upon our foes, and do our best to survive. But to endure the coming storm, we'll need Kislev's fiercest defender. Despite Korn's overwhelming numbers, we're standing strong. Kislev's superior ranged capabilities mixed with the staunch bulwark of the Dark Guard and the capacity to restore our troops from the replenishment menu and the Patriarch's abilities means we're deeply entrenched. With that in mind, we can stand to be a bit more aggressive. With so many demons packed together tightly, Katarin's Frostfang ability and her other offensive spells prove ruinous. And with Korn focused on piercing our Tsar wall, we can unleash our Warbear Riders and other cavalry to wreak havoc in their flanks. At the Elemental Bear's ranged Elemental Breath ability and a continuous rain of fire from our little Grom units, and we soon find ourselves prevailing against the Third Wave. Prepare for the fight of your lives! Here he is, the Gatekeeper, an exalted bloodthirster. This greater demon of corn is war, brutality, and murder incarnate. No mortal man could hope to stand against one and survive. Thankfully, we have a giant ice bear. If we're not careful, Korn's Gatekeeper will systematically devastate and rout our infantry, sowing discord and creating holes in our wall. We need to keep him focused on the Elemental Bear whilst peppering him with ranged attacks and spearing him with our anti-large infantry, like the Ice Guard. The quicker we tank the Gatekeeper down, the sooner we claim victory. The combined might of Katarin's magic, the Elemental Bear's ferocity, and the continuous assault of our army is too much for even Korn's greatest of champions. We stand triumphant. But Korn is not the only Dark God with a realm in this accursed place. The battle is won, but the war goes on. <laughs>